Deputy Speaker, I rise to support the outstanding work of our local police in my electorate who serve and protect our community tirelessly and so well. It was only recently in this House that I was pleased to congratulate the many police officers who were honoured at the Brisbane Water Local Area Command Medals and Awards Ceremony held at Laycock Street Theatre, including Superintendent Daniel Sullivan, a fearless and committed leader who was dedicated to ensuring that the Central Coast is a safe place to live and to work. Today I'd like to again affirm these statements and again thank every officer who serves our community so well on the Central Coast. To give you some examples, Mr Deputy Speaker, on the peninsula, Sergeant Bruce Coates is the most experienced officer on the coast with 35 years on the beach. His colleagues include Sergeant Jessica Bradbury, a domestic violence leader who was recently recognised with an award for empowerment by the Central Coast women's business community. I'm also advised that the latest figures from New South Wales Police demonstrate that our local crime rates have dropped and prosecution success rates have increased, and I thank our local command for their diligent efforts in keeping our streets safe. However, not everyone seems to agree. Last week, an appalling statement was made by the Labor member for Gosford in the New South Wales Parliament. In her private member statement about the peninsula, the member for Gosford made wild claims such as, time after time, police do not respond to reports of crime. The statement claimed that residents are stressed and being forced to move suburbs because of a lack of police action. Officers are described as being rude and reluctant to do their job. I could go on, Mr Deputy Speaker, but I refuse to give this speech any more credibility by repeating any more of its outlandish statements. What's worse is that the same Labor member who criticises our police on the floors of parliament appears quite happy to promote herself alongside the president of the local chapter of the Mongols Outlaw Motorcycle Gang in her latest edition of her taxpayer-funded newsletter. Mr Deputy Speaker, this is a gang well known by police for its worldwide commitment in illegal activities, including drug trafficking, robbery, assault and murder. I must make it clear that there is no suggestion that the member for Gosford or anyone else pitched in this newsletter has any involvement in this notorious gang. But it does raise some serious questions. For instance, why, why is the member for Gosford promoting the member, a member of an outlaw gang using parliamentary entitlements? I note that the Labor candidate for Robertson and Charleston and Labor Senator Deborah O'Neill also both appear on the front page of this newsletter. So what does this say about the Labor Party and its commitment to standing up for law and order on the Central Coast? I'm really pleased that the state member for Terrigal, Adam Crouch, has joined me in condemning this statement made in the New South Wales Parliament which is an outrageous slur on our local, hard-working, incredible police force. So today I call on the member for Gosford to withdraw her statement, and I also call on the Labor Senator, Deb O'Neill, and Labor candidate for Robertson, Anne Charlton, to also join me in condemning this statement, which is an appalling reflection on those who serve our community. Um, I call the